Field School is on high alert this morning after a person was shot and killed yesterday less than a mile from Creck Museum Academy. So let's get straight out to Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Schuler. She's live from Creck Museum Academy. Good morning, Olivia. What precautions will be taken this morning? Caitlin, good morning. Parents can expect a heavy police presence here at the school. A lot of the parents we spoke to are both shocked and concerned that this happened. Now, a lot of parents actually may have witnessed the aftermath of this shooting because it was happening during the time of school drop off. Now, a lot of people we spoke to say that the town of Bloomfield is really a stranger to this type of violence. On Monday morning around 9 o'clock, a deadly shooting took place less than a mile from Creck Museum Academy. Police say 31 year old Timothy Ross was shot a number of times in a Toyota Camry on Bloomfield Avenue. The Bloomfield School District tells us Ross has children in the district. It's not clear right now if the gunman and Ross knew of each other. Now, the district released this statement to parents Monday evening saying in part several measures taken to support the school community tomorrow will include increased police presence of school grounds and additional clinical staff to support students and adults as needed. Now one Bloomfield parent who didn't want to be identified tells us they cannot believe what happened. It's pretty much quiet here. You know, it's really not a whole bunch of violence that I know of, you know, but to see this here today here in Bloomfield, you know, this is a quiet town, it's supposed to be a quiet town. Now, as of this morning, the killer is still on the pol on the loose. Police tell us that he should be considered as armed and dangerous. Police are looking for a small SUV, South Carolina plates, JDD 955. If you see anything, make sure you give police a call. Live this morning in Bloomfield, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.